Today, we're going to be cooking pasta. Pasta! Oh! Yes! So, we're going to be making a vegetarian dish. Pasta being the main ingredient. We also have chili jelly, sun dried tomatoes, the chopped tomatoes, standard things, spice mixes, pasta, yes! So, the first thing you want to do when you open a bag of pasta is open it so it's ripped awkwardly, so that every time you go and get the pasta, it spills everywhere. That's an uh, essential part of cooking. Oh, and garlic too. Garlic, yes. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Classic. And we're gonna we're gonna sauté those onions in a, a very slight bit of oil to really bring them out, to really bring out the flavour, the tears, the freshness, the, the local ingredientsness. Again, you chop off the ends with a nice sharp blade. Squash and peel off. Oh yes, that's what we like to see. End. End. Oh, oh yes. Peel off. It's almost a cooking show. Do you know what I mean? It's all, especially when I'm stood in front of the camera. But we're going to save it, we're going to salvage it and use what's left. Now if you get some strips like that, you can really finish off the pasta at the end and give it a, a nice aesthetic. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. Nothing too special. Squirring our, squirring our, squirring our, squirring our things. Really chop the fingers off. That'll be a great video that one day. That's why you watch it. <laughs> you want to see me chop my hand off, don't you? Now, oh yes, I'm starting to, to smell the aromas, smell the flavour, that's great. So we've got the main ingredients now sizzling away, almost, um, if you would. What we're going to do is create the sauce, the topping for the piece, um, so obviously we can pour that in at the end, everyone's happy. So what I'm going to use for that is a bowl. Yeah! Now the problem is, I've got chopped tomatoes, not... Oh no, that's right, isn't it? You'll chop some out of straight in the bowl, no messing about, that's filled it, perfect. We're only adding standard paprika, adds a bit of spiciness to it. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna just top that off nicely there. Seems like a lot, but I'm a big fan of paprika. Pepchoir is one of the main things you want on pasta, onions, garlic, anything. You want, every food needs a lot of pepper, I think if you want a good meal. Bit of salt, probably won't need much. Uh, I'm going to add some mixed herbs to the list. We're going to add some of them at the end as well, just to add that flavour flavour profile. Now we've also got a red pepper chilli jelly. Um, I do not want to use this as of yet, I don't think. Because to be honest, don't you want to make this at all? You don't want to follow someone else's like things that you can't get. You want like, oh this is a recipe I can genuinely make. So we're not going to use any of these special things. Chili jelly, sun dried tomatoes, spice mixes. We're just going to use the stuff you can get. To be honest, I'm going to be honest with you. I just wanted to show off the pinny. Do you know what I mean? I just wanted the pinny to get some action. The brand new pinny for the channel. That looks way better on camera than it does in person. But we'll see what happens in a bit. Now you might be thinking, Pete, Pete, this isn't that funny. And I'll agree with you, it's not that funny. But, it's somewhat incentive of how quick you could make your own, you know, dinner. And as you can see, the pasta is obviously bubbling away to the right there. And here we go. Oh, yes. Yes, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, some of that fresh local smelling ingredients. And I might add some salt and pepper just to, just to this as well. Just to get it going, ooh, do you know what I mean? Do you know when you, when you can smell food and it gives you that, oh yeah. He's adding pepper to pepper, he's a madman. 
So that's cooking away now. I know it's not very exciting, but very shortly we're going to be adding the sauce into the pan and giving you that oh, finesse. Uh, and then obviously adding the pizza at the end. The pizza. <laughs> and adding the pizza at the end, yes. That's what we'll be doing. Add this bad boy in here. Whoa, did you see all the action? I'm very aware, I'm, I'm one step away from being Alan Partridge uh, in real life, but that is just the curse that I'm to live with, so. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Whoa, look at it bubbling away. You can see we're through salt everywhere. Uh, so, what I tend to see is that people mix the pasta in the uh, saucepan, but I prefer to do it in the, uh, the standard pan. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Woo! Alright guys, to finish this off, what we're going to do, add a bit of the pasta into our bowl for tea tonight. Then we've got another portion, maybe tomorrow, or for two days actually, I think if you spread it with some, some garlic bread. You have plenty there for two portions, three portions. Prove it. Ooh, look at that. Just add a sprinkle of your favourite herb and it really brings out the flavour and a bit of that, a bit of salt and pepper and then obviously we need this to look amazing so I'm going to add just a few more chilli flakes on top and then you have pasta for three days that let's get a closer look captain you've got pasta for three days that looks banging woo thanks for coming mate